Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have a DIY for y'all, and this is going to be a bunny planter. So I have it here, I've already uh, made one already, and I just think it turned out so precious. So let me go ahead and show you what you need for this project. You'll actually need something that will be your planter part. So I have this glass votive holder here, and I found this at Dollar Tree. Uh, you could, in the place if you couldn't find something that's of good shape, I would suggest either a planter or a terracotta pot. I think something like that would work just as well. So for this project, I am going to be painting the inside of my votive holder, and I'm going to be using the Waverly White Chalk Paint. And then also, I have already cut out uh, the pieces for my ears. I use some pink fabric, or you could use some pink felt. I just have pink, pink fabric on hand. So I cut some pieces of that because I did not have the right color of the pink felt. And then for the outer part of the ears, I did use some white stiffened felt. So this is, the reason why I used the stiffened felt was because I knew that it would hold up nicely as they stand up. And then I cut these pieces a little bit smaller now, all I did was just freehand. I didn't have a pattern or anything like that. I just freehanded my pieces. And like I said, I made the pink just a little bit smaller so they would fit right inside. So I do have those. And then for the face, I just used a black Sharpie and I used a pink chalk marker. If you don't have a chalk marker, you could use a regular marker also, for the inside of the planter, I did use some Spanish moss, and I purchased this from Dollar Tree as well. And I also, in this one, I used a faux succulent, but for this next project here, we will be using some uh, faux flowers. So I think that that would be cute just as well. I just wanna show you the difference so that way, uh, if you're interested in this project, you could do it either way. Uh, so I just wanna show you the different options. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. I'll move her right over here. And I'm going to go ahead and start painting the inside of this. Let me get this all painted. And then when it's nice and dry, we'll go ahead and continue with our next steps. All right, so we have this all nice and dry. So uh, like I mentioned earlier, I did pre-cut my ears. And I forgot to mention that I will be using the Aileen's Tacky Glue. I think that's how you pronounce it. And what I'm going to do is just Put some glue on this pink uh, piece first and just go ahead and glue it down on here. Now with this glue, it does look like that there is some glue that is showing through, but it will dry. So that's not no issue whatsoever. You could probably use school glue or hot glue, anything like that, but I just chose to use uh, this glue. So I am going to sit these pieces to the side. And while that's sitting there trying to dry, we will go ahead and get started with our face. Sorry, my nose is itching. Okay, so I am going to pick a side here. Uh, let's see, let's go with this side. And let's see here, I'm going to start first with the nose. And 
and I'll, I'll turn this around as soon as I get done here. All right, so I started with my nose. Go ahead and get this all filled in. And I can always go back and touch it up. But that's what I have there so far. And I will go ahead and draw my eyes and my whiskers. You could draw a mouth too. Uh, I chose not to, but you could most certainly do that. Okay, so that's what I have there so far. I am gonna fill it in just a little bit more. There is our face. So adorable. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, get my glue gun together here and we'll go ahead and get the uh, ears glued on. So now for our bunny, we're gonna go ahead and add the ears. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue along here, on the back, and I'm trying to see how I want my placement. And see how the ears sit up real nicely when you use that stiffened felt? It just does, I think, so much better than if you was to use regular felt. It will uh, hold up a lot, a lot better. All right, so there are, is our bunny with the ears. Just think these are so cute. And like I said, you could use either a small planter, you could use a terracotta pot, or another type of votive candle holder as well. This is, I just like the shape of this one, so that's the reason why I chose this one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our moss down in here. so precious okay and then like I said I, I chose the succulent with uh, this one so I decided that I was just going to pluck some of these off so I can give y'all an idea of what this would look like if you instead if you use flowers so I'm going to put some down in here. And the moss just catches real good so that whatever you place down in there can stand upright. Oh, that's so that's super cute too. So I have the flowers in here now. And I love how this turned out. I like this one just as well as I do with the succulent. I think they're both precious. And uh, I just hope that you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. Along with, uh, if you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Along with that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I have a new upload. So I just wanna say, thanks for watching. Bye.